Hey everyone, I'm Arabo and welcome to my new Civilization 5 game. So, this is the game that won the poll that I had about a week ago when I'm uploading this. That's March 2014, in case you're from the future. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I started three games with random map type and random leader, and then added them all to the poll. So this is the game that won the poll. I have a link to it somewhere in the description below if you want to check it out. The poll had almost 3000 votes, so that's awesome. Thanks to everyone who voted. I'm definitely going to continue that idea. But meanwhile, let's get started on this game. So the game setup, in case you don't remember, is Carthage on standard map size, on DT as usual, and on standard game pace. So this is actually going to be the first game in a while that I'm playing on standard game pace. There's a pretty big difference between Epic and Standard. <laughs> Why am I playing on Standard? I just felt like doing one game on Standard after doing several games on Epic Speed. Maybe this will remind me of the reasons why I prefer Epic game pace. Other than that, I'm only playing with Info Addict. No other mods. So, let's get started. This starting location is pretty good. There's actually a river right here, so that's very nice. I'm going to settle on spot, I see no reason to move. Although this could technically be a Panama Canal city, but then I would be out of range of salt, so that's definitely not a good idea. This is Archipelago map, as you probably remember. So, pottery first, obviously, and I need to explore. So one of the best things about Carthage is that you get harbors in your cities for free which means compass should be relatively high priority in this game, especially since this is archipelago map. That means my cities that are new will be immediately connected to my network. So I will be getting gold for the city connection imme immediately, as long as I have compass researched. Alright, so let's grab that scout, because even though this is archipelago map, I have no idea how big this island is going to be. I need to find good city locations. I will be going with the tradition opener. There will be no experimenting in this game. My last two games had rather experimental openers. So the Pity opener was just bad. The honor opener wasn't completely terrible, but the map type just didn't really work with that. Or my starting location in the game as America wasn't really so great for honor opener. Either way, no experimenting in this game. I will be going with tradition. So, two ruins right next to my city. Very nice. Plus one population. Awesome. That's a good start already. Right, let's lock this and this. I don't like this desert, but this might be a decent location for a city if there's some other terrain to the south. Let's grab that other ruin. Okay, never mind that. This is mostly desert. Yeah, the annoying part about this is that if I don't settle this, one of the AIs eventually will. And I don't really want to start a crappy city like this on the desert. That's definitely not a good idea. Is this the end of my island already? It looks like it might be. Okay, well, I'm about to get a scout that's going to be slightly wasted if this is already the end of my island. Yeah, it is. Can I go here? Oh yes, I can. Nice. So, what's next? Probably monument. Because even though I'm going with tradition, actually... I should go straight for a worker. Yeah, I need to hook up all these resources. I don't have any city-state right here. This looks like the end of the island right here. So I need to get started on all these improvements, especially the salt and silver. I think I'll go straight for sailing, because I need to get optics uh, in this situation. And I want to get a ship to scout around with. I need to find other civilizations early. That was definitely one of the mistakes of my previous game, and yeah, this is the end of the island. That was one of the major mistakes in my game as America, I just didn't find other civilizations fast enough, I didn't scout them up early enough. And it's not important only because it gives you trading partners, but obviously that's still kind of important. But as you might or might not know, if you actually made contact with civilizations that discovered some technology, the science cost for that technology will go down. So it's important to find other leaders also because of your science. It will reduce the cost of your technologies, especially on higher difficulty levels, because the AIs will already have these technologies, obviously. They start with an advantage. So why exactly do I get this scout? 
Oh well, he will be useful once I get optics. So now that pottery is done, I think I'll just grab mining to hook up the salt and silver and then go straight for optics. Yeah, definitely. I need to be able to explore this, for example. I'll probably send my warrior to the east and scout to the west or other way around. Right. I need to find as many good city locations as possible. I could send him up here, but I think I'm close to the North Pole because there's a lot of tansha around here. Also, should change this. So this goes here. I need this to grow faster. Yeah, I need that worker. Nine more turns. All right, so this guy will chill over here and my scout will chill over here. Hopefully I can actually go through here without entering ocean since I want to be able to do that until astronomy. This is the risk of playing archipelago maps. It's possible that you can be completely isolated and not be able to discover any other civilizations without astronomy. I've had situations like that before. Seems fairly unlikely here because I already have access to some other island to the southeast, but it's possible. And if that happens, you're kind of screwed because you can't make contact with other civilizations until astronomy. So that's obviously bad, and it's really hard to catch up from that kind of situation when you're playing on DT. But it does look like this game will be fine. Still, it's always a risk that you have to take into account. So give me that worker faster. Yeah, the next 50 turns or so won't be super exciting unless I find some kind of neighbor on this island to the southeast. There's mining. So I'm going directly for optics now. I see no reason to do anything else. I need to be able to scout around. Hopefully no one will steal that ruin site before I get there. So I'll be skipping a few turns now. What's the plan for this game? I might go for domination again. That's always the victory type I enjoy the most. All the victory conditions in this game are enabled. So since this is standard speed, the AI is usually able to win around turn 300. So I only have around 300 turns to actually win this game on standard. All the victory conditions are enabled. There's the worker. Almost done. Oh yeah, I need to queue up something else. Right. So, the city is about to grow to population 4. I could actually get started on settlers soon. But I'll grab a shrine. I need to secure my pantheon. Not sure what kind of pantheon is going to be yet. But I guess we'll see about that. I could grab extra hammers, actually. Anyway, let's grab that silver first. But I might go for extra hammers. We'll see about that. I'm not sure yet. I actually have, like, no fish in range, which is very strange, considering this is Archipelago map. Yeah, because that would be a good pantheon, plus one hammer from sea resources. Population 4. Right, I won't be wasting my gold to buy these tiles. Oh yeah, I can just work this one. And that's fine. I let that shrine finish and then change to settler. I need to get optics first anyway. I won't be settling a city right here. I'll just have to leave this desert. This will be a complete waste of a city. There's a risk that one of the AIs will settle this eventually. But, well, there's really not much I can do about that. I could just settle a city right here on the coast and then... Portiles... I could just leave a few military units on the few tiles that would be valid locations for cities. And then the AI won't be able to settle this. If I settle a city right here, for example, then the cities here would have to be four tiles away. Yeah, I would still need what? Like six units to block this? I guess I'll worry about this later. Once I meet some AIs and the game progresses a little bit more than this. But I don't really want a city right next to my capital, especially if it's some kind of warmonger. <laughs> Obviously, I have no idea what civilizations are in this game yet, but I assume I'm going to have at least one or two aggressive civilizations. And you don't want them to start cities right next to your capital. I'm just already planning in advance. They're sailing, so now I just need optics. Shrine will be done in three turns. Yeah, mostly red people. Alright, I will definitely get some kind of ship just to explore, but I need a settler first. And I'm going for tradition, as I said, no experimenting in this game, at least when it comes to my social policies. 
I might get something in the commerce or exploration. I wouldn't mind plus three production from all coastal cities. But I need to get decent culture output if I want to get extra policies before rationalism. I will be unlocking rationalism as soon as I enter Renaissance era, as I always do. So, but I don't have the salt yet. Will my border grow? Two more turns. Okay, so it's about to grow. I can just grab that salt next. I can't connect the other salt yet because I don't have the technology to chop. Actually, no, I do have. I can chop the forest. Alright. I can just grab this first, I suppose. I see no problem with that. That will chop the forest and speed up the settler. That's actually not a terrible idea. 12 turns for optics. I do actually have time to get the monument. If I want to. Do I want to? I could also get that ship. Yeah, that's actually better. I'll grab this first. And then the settler. I have to wait for optics anyway. So add the settler and chop that forest. I'll have to chop this forest anyway, just to connect the luxury. So might as well do it now and give myself a nice boost. That's going to take four turns, so I should get the ship in four turns. I need to find other civilizations ASAP. Especially since I have some excess salt for trade. I'm thinking about this salt. I would like to get it, but I just don't see how without starting a really crappy city right here. That would be a terrible city, seriously. If I had some fish right here, then it wouldn't be so bad, but it's just awful. This is just desert and regular sea tiles, coastal tiles. One wheat, one salt, and that's it. That's awful. Oh great, there's a hand axe and it's taking damage. Do I already have a neighbor right there? I hope not, I want that ruin site. But that hand axe took damage from something. I assume he didn't hit himself in the face with his own axe. But you never know with these barbarians, they are unpredictable. Four more turns for that ship. So, east or west? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. I'll send the scout west, warrior east, and the ship east. So, let's go. Do I want to go north? Probably not. I think I'm close to the North Pole. So, let's go this way. Alright, 15 turns for the settler. Can I speed that up? I'm pretty sure I can. So let's see. That's 13 turns. That's a bit better. 15 turns again, really? Oh yeah, that's because I'm getting hammers from this. I could just sacrifice one gold per turn. To save two turns on that settler. Yeah, I guess so. That's worth it. Alright, looks good to me. I'm still getting one gold per turn, which is not super amazing, but whatever. The first pantheon is gone. God of the sea, really? Oh no, that's the one that's useless for me right now, right. I was thinking about God of Craftsmen for plus one hammer in cities with, with free population or higher. And look at this, how convenient is this? A straight line of single coastal tiles. I hope this is not a dead end. So this looks like a good location for a city, but I don't like that barbarian over there. Let's keep moving. Nice, there's some island over here with more salt. And wheat, and there's a river. This is definitely going to be a city. So, legalism. That will give me a monument in Carthage. Alright then. Give me optics already. I want to send my other units to explore. So let's go south now. And maybe have a look at this island over here. This is a dead end, from the looks of it. Is this a big island or small island? Oh, there's another ruin over there. I need to grab all these ruins. I think I'll just grab this one with the warrior and send the warrior here immediately. I still want to send my scout west. Because there might be some other island to the west, obviously. I could also let Carthage grow and then continue the settler. Yeah, it's almost at 5 population, actually. Let's see... I might want to delay this. So if I lock all the tiles with food... Four turns to grow? Nah, that's a bit too much. I'll continue with my original plan then. So I'm assign all of this, that's nine turns for the settler. Alright. Let's go south now. This looks like a dead end? No, it's not. There's a city state, nice. 
So that's the third city state. That will give me 30 gold, hopefully. Unless some other civilization already made contact with them. No, 15 gold. So there has to be some civilization somewhere around here. Alright then. That means I have a neighbor somewhere close. We'll see what kind of neighbor it is. But I already see two locations for cities. Maybe even more than that. Another small island. There's the salt. I should probably work this tile now. So that's seven turns. For the settler. Yeah, that's the same number of turns. But I'm getting plus one gold per turn like this. Still seven turns if I look at this one. Alright. Looks good to me. Two more turns for optics. I need to secure all the good city locations. I might just start four cities and then focus on growing them. We'll see how many good city locations I'll find. But the most optimal number of cities with tradition is usually four, but that doesn't mean I won't start more if I find good locations. So, optics. Alright, I have to go back into my territory to actually get the ability to embark. Damn it. Well, that's a bit of a fail. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I realized that a tiny little bit too late, but that's okay. So, what else do I need? I might want trapping in reasonable future and calendar, not yet. I think I'll just go for writing right now. Yeah, sounds good to me. But yeah, this was a bit of a fail. I only lost one or two turns, so that's not the end of the world. I'll just send that warrior east. Let's move. So, where do I go with that ship now? Let's go south. Yeah, Great Lighthouse is already gone. The Wonders will be gone very fast. This is standard speed, not epic. There are a few Wonders that I might want. But not the early game ones, not really. Alright. I'll have to get some great engineers though. I will probably start working some engineer slots. I'll probably have at least one city that's fully dedicated to production. I just need to find a good location for that. Three more turns for that settler. Another barbarian camp? Oh no, that is the first barbarian camp. So what did that hand axe take damage from? I'm still a little, little bit confused about that. What do you think you're doing? Another city state? Nice. Let's go through here then. And the scout will go west. Hopefully I can actually go through there. What's the fastest way to get here? Six turns. Alright then. I'll grab this ruin first, I think. Well, it doesn't really make a big difference, I suppose. This one is closer. Is it really closer? Four turns, but there are barbarians over there than hand ducks, And I didn't see any barbarian comes here. Yeah, I want to grab that one first because it's safer. Another ruin. Lots of ruins around here. Hopefully I can go through here, to the west. Next policy, so that's going to be landed elite. That settler is done. Which city do I want first? This one or this one? This one looks better with the river. Yeah, this one definitely looks better. Okay, let's move. And that scout. Okay, I see some island already. I can't get the pasture yet because I don't have animal husbandry yet. Yeah, I should secure that. I should have grabbed that before writing, but let's finish writing first. I'll just get a farm. Alright. So, do I send that settler east? Probably. I think it will be faster to go through here. There's no guarantee that I can actually go through here, even though the game claims it's possible. Yeah, let's just go the safe way where the warrior is. So, through here. And maybe this island will be better. I want to check this out first. Before I commit to a specific location. So let's see here. And let's have a look. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. There's a river, wheat. And the game is suggesting a city. Hmm, and this is a little bit closer. I'm still a little bit undecided. But I might go for this one first. No luxury here though. I should just get another settler, fast. Okay, let's go east. This is a safer location because it has a luxury. What? Barbarian Galley, really? Come on. Well, that makes it a little bit harder to go grab that ruin site. I might want to get this one first. 
that Handax is taking damage from something. Yeah, what do you think you're doing? I could just kill him right now. Yeah, let's kill him. Oh, hi. Well, there's my first neighbor. I heard you like salt. Seven gold per turn. Give me your money. Oh, great. He stole the ruin from me. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. I still want to grab that one. Right, let's have a look here. Another ruin, nice. I need my ruins before the AI seal them. 30 gold, so no one made contact with this city yet. Do I really want to send that settler east when I know there's a Barbarian Galley in the way? Not really, no. I think I'll go west instead. Yeah, I wouldn't want to lose my settler on turn 46. That would be bad. Just saying. This is fine. This is not fine. Well, that is actually kind of okay. I need four more turns for that farm, and this is plus one hammer. Five turns for the granary, one way or the other. Alright. So, I guess I can exchange embassy with Bismarck, he's usually not that aggressive. Let's grab the ruin before someone else does that. Give me something. Oh, what? Lake Victoria is here! Wow. Okay, I want this location for sure then. <laughs> I was a little bit undecided before, but not anymore. That's definitely a superior location. <laughs> Alright, I still want that island to the east. But I'm a little bit worried about that galley and I still want to explore using my ship instead of sending it all the way back here. I could try to go through the north side. But there's no guarantee it's actually possible to go through there. I won't be fighting this warrior with my scout, that's for sure. Yeah, let's accept embassy. Where is he? Okay, he's down here. Alright. That means I might want to secure this location before he settles here. This is not a bad city. The only problem with this is that it doesn't bring any extra luxury. Unless there's a luxury literally on top of this tile. That I can't see. But I prefer to settle cities that bring guaranteed luxury. Even if it's not a new one. Something for trade is fine though. Do I heal this guy or do I take a gamble and go east? I think I'll just take a gamble and go east. If that galley kills me, I guess that's okay. But the AI is exploring. I want to grab that ruin site before the AIs do. I also don't want to lose this. Let's keep moving. Okay, so which exact tile do I want this city on? Let's see. Good question. On the river. I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. A little bit closer to my capital, perhaps. Yeah, I think this one will be better. Maybe. Right, well, it doesn't make that much difference unless I discover these tiles first. I should probably do that, but not with the settler. Let's keep moving. I need more AIs and more gold. I might save up my gold to get another settler. I think I need 500 gold? Yes, 500 gold. Also, I need that animal husbandry faster. I'll just keep my worker on top of the cattle. Right. So, this location. Oh, great. There's a warrior there. Come on. I'll have to send that scout as an escort, but it's not much of an escort with 28 hit points. I need to be super careful with that brute. Yeah. I can't disembark and then settle the city on the same turn, which is unfortunate. I might just have to send that scout as bait. I think that's what I'll have to do. Right, well, that's what I have to do. But how? Yeah, this is going to be a little bit annoying. One more turn for animal husbandry. Can I get the ruin at least? That would be nice. Hmm. If I move here, the warrior will just go north, maybe. This is the location that I want. Let's disembark right here. Oh, there's another ruin. So I'm basically sacrificing this scout to get a city. Because I expect the warrior to kill my scout, so then I can move one tile and start my city. If the warrior moves north towards my settler, I'll just have to embark again. But I expect him to kill that scout instead. Anyway, Granary is done. Let's grab the library next. Or next settler. Actually, yeah, I think I want a next settler first. 
I need to settle the cities fast. Especially on standard speed. This is definitely a location I want. This is a pretty good island. Let's grab that ruin before someone else does. Animal husbandry. So, what can I get from that ruin? Free technology, please. And fries with that. Map of the surrounding area. Well, that's actually kind of useful because that gives me another location. Okay, I didn't even lose the scout. Okay, that's the perfect case scenario. Oh, there are horses right here. That might change my plans a little bit. But I might still want to settle on, on top of the horses. Problem is I lost a little bit of production potential in the long run. But I can't move here and settle the city on the same turn. And the warrior will probably capture my settler if I move here. So my only option right now is to embark again or settle on top of the horses. I really think I should just settle on top of the horses right now. This is technically a better location now, right here. But again, I can't settle that safely. This is a pretty tough situation, actually. I could send my scout as bait again. I could move him south. I don't know, but I think I need to think about this a little bit. Okay, actually, never mind that plan. I just realized that I can simply take hit instantly, which should be enough to survive an attack from that brute, especially since he will be attacking across the river. So that means I'll take hit instantly, move here, then move my settler here and settle the city on the next turn. That is still the better location for the city than on top of the horses. I would be losing some production potential on this tile if I settled on top of that tile. Not right now, but later in the game. And I don't like losing production. This city will actually be a little bit low on production. I'll have to keep all these forest tiles there. And wow, I have more barbarians incoming. Well, that's fine. I can settle here right now. Nice. So, I might actually buy these tiles right away. That's Lake Victoria. This city will grow super fast with that. That will cost me over 200 gold, however. I'm not super excited about that, but it's one of the best natural wonders in the game. For sure, and it's the best food-based natural wonder in the game. Anyway, now we're done with this part, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.